Uh, Pan is one of the the cryptoid kids. He's the oldest uh, at 18. Um, he's a sort of laid back kind of guy, um, and his ability is that he can use sound waves uh, as a weapon. Um, he is more mature than the others, obviously, I think, because he's the oldest. Um, and he doesn't really, he prefers, like, not to fight unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, and he understand, you know, he, he tries to assess when it is necessary versus when he thinks it might be a waste of time. Um, he likes to, to tease the other kids a lot at, in sort of like this older brother, uh, way, especially Mothboy. Um, he's also pretty smart, you know, uh, he likes to read, but he's not a re he's not really a nerd. He's, he's very down to earth and comes across as kind of cool, you know. Um, he likes music, but he, he's especially fond of the loot. And because of that, uh, his main weapon is actually a loot. So he prefers to use sound as a weapon when he pr likes the sound rather than just any random sound, and you know, it's stylish that way as well. Wyverna is also one of the Crypto kids. Um, she is 16, and she's probably the biggest goofball of all of them, uh, but also like wiser than you might expect for someone her age. Um, she is dragon themed, and her powers are super strength and fire breath. Um, she is a tomboy, and also a bit of a jock. Uh, she enjoys more like of the fighting because she's really into athletics than than being actually into like the cause or whatever. Um, she 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 does understand you know why it needs to be done, but she also has a good time doing it sometimes. Um, even though she's a little bit silly, uh, she doesn't she's she's really she's really successful at being a superhero, um, and she's a lot more at ease with it, I think than Pan. Um, she does look for the things she enjoys and holds on to them and believes in the philosophy of having fun and loving life as it comes. Also politer than the other teens, uh, she even uh, refers to Gadzooks and Moog as Mr. Gadzooks and King Moog, um, so she doesn't really have much against them. Uh, she does also make connections easier uh, than most and acts as like a mediator. Um, when there's sort of bad blood between the kids. Um, but uh, sometimes she has a habit of, I think, holding on to things that are better off. Nessie is another uh, of the crypto kids. Uh, she is 17. Um, uh, her powers involve water. Um, so, you know, controlling water, uh, using water as a weapon, or even defensively sometimes. Um, Nessie is the leader of the Cryptoid Kids, and is very dedicated, uh, to the cause, and the most dedicated to the cause, and the most strong-willed, I think, uh, of all the kids, um, but that's sort of a resilient trait, um, and gives sort of the ability to guide the other kids out of difficult situations, um, and the desire to, uh, triumph over moving Gadzooks is just always there. Uh, I think Nessie is the kid that believes the most in in those two being a serious threat, um, whereas the others don't seem to take them quite as seriously. Um, Nessie can be really ultra serious and sort of single-minded um, and is often offended by the others downplaying the situation between the two sides. I think it's annoying sometimes to Nessie that the others don't take it quite as seriously. Um, and even though Nessie seems confident and self-assured, uh, there, there are some personal insecurities going on in there, uh, going into, you know, the goal of defeating Moog and Gadzooks. Um, and the others, I think, can be a little bit annoyed by that at times. Um, you know, they kind of want to break from the superhero stuff, uh, while sometimes Nessie doesn't accept that as an option. Um, Nessie is Loch Ness monster themed, hence the name and the abilities. <laughs>